So recently I've been looking at ways that we can optimize our content efforts, specifically with YouTube and with the blog. And I noticed that vidIQ had some new features, or at least new to me features, that they're including in their boost, as it were, plan. So I'm gonna cover some of those today and how they can help you do YouTube content better, faster, but also more seamlessly. All right guys, welcome back to the Kim and Co YouTube channel. My name is Chris. Let's go ahead and jump in here. So as you'll see, and I wanna kinda of show you what the dashboard looks like for uh, vidIQ. Uh, for those who don't know what vidIQ is at all, it's just an extension uh, that you can add to YouTube that gives you some analytics about how your channel's performing. Uh, you can see which videos are trending. You can add competitors that you're tracking, so on and so forth. Um, so what I did was I clicked here, and what populates is this whole menu item here on the left-hand side. So I'm not gonna get into everything because this would be like a 40 minute video, although I am excited about all of them. <laughs> so maybe we'll have to do a part two here. Uh, but I do wanna show you some ways that you're gonna be able to do content on YouTube a lot faster, come up with different content ideas faster, and then also optimize some of your current efforts from previous videos, which is the benefit to YouTube is, uh, and your blog as well, is that you can actually go back and tweak things to make them perform better, which I think is really awesome. So first we'll see, you'll uh, note here on, on the tab I'm on is ideas. And what they're telling you is that uh, these are very high in terms of like potentially really good for your channel or at least for your topics that you normally cover. It'll give you different subject names, right? So the best time to post on social media revealed, tools and apps that make video creation a breeze. And you can simply just click any of these. Uh, so let's say I click this one and now it's gonna add to my save menu. So literally I have all of these saved ideas and a lot of what we teach uh, is to actually save your content ideas manually inside of a spreadsheet or something. And this gives you the, the ability to just add them right here, which I think is really, really cool. Um, if you dismiss some, it, uh, it, it saves the dismissed ones. I haven't dismissed any. But if you dismiss them and then in the future you wanna come back to it um, just to keep your list not as robust as, as mine is right now, um, you can always come back to those at a later date, which I think is also really, really cool. Now, something else you can do, which I think is awesome, is I can copy this, right? So let's say I wanna do this specific topic. I can hit copy, I go to create, uh, actually I go to generate rather, and then I can add in whatever I wanna add, right? So let's do that. Let's take one of those topics and we're gonna copy that and let's go to generate. And then you literally will put in this specific topic and then check this out. This is really, really cool. So what it's gonna do is uh, it gives you a title, which is pretty much what you put in. It just optimizes it a little bit differently for, for a YouTube title. But also really cool here is it's giving you some related terms that you can use. It gives you a description. It gives you tags to incorporate. You can literally just copy as well. Potential thumbnail, which I'm not impressed with the thumbnails. That's probably gonna improve over time as you know AI gets a little bit better with images and what have you but it gives you an idea anyways about what you could potentially do. We're still generating ours from scratch. It uh, gives you a hook, but also it gives you an entire outline. So you could literally just copy this. It's refined, I haven't done that yet, I don't know what it does, let's see. Uh, video length, video type, so I guess if you wanna change this in the tone of like a review or storytelling or documentary, you can do that. And then if you wanna say, hey, I want this to be more like 10 plus, like a pretty long video, then it can optimize it for that as well, which I think is really, really amazing. Uh, so what you'll see here is it gives you your hook, gives you your introduction. It literally keeps you on track pretty much. And then you can hit generate script. And what it'll do is, which is crazy, is it actually will give you the entire script to follow and it gives you a voiceover, which it's gonna take a minute. But if we sat here and watched this, it actually gives you that script and it gives you a voiceover, which you can hit play and listen to like a generated version. Here we go, it actually worked faster than I thought. So literally you could sit here and basically put this on a teleprompter if you really wanted to. Uh, and just read this <laughs> from directly from here. Now, I'm not suggesting you do that. Uh, I'm just saying you could. And they give you the uh, the voiceover. You could listen to that as well, which, again, just mind-blowing, right? The stuff that is coming out now. So that's one way to really create videos fast. And as you see here, we're not even a couple minutes into this video, and you could have from title to everything you would need here to create a video right here and now. So let's say you produce that. Let's say you created that, right? Uh, later down the line, what you can do, right, is you can, that's not where I wanted to go. Well, this is good too. So there's different keyword opportunities that you can rank for, and it's gonna be per your channel or per opportunity. So there's just other things you can take advantage of. There's some rising keywords, maybe it doesn't apply to you, 
What I was really looking for uh, was the SEO aspect here. So what's really cool is that it's gonna give you all of your previous videos that you've done. Um, this in particular, some shorts that we published, and it just tells you like, hey, there's some tags you could have added to further optimize uh, this particular video. Maybe use the ones they, suge they suggest, maybe you don't. Some of them don't at all apply to what we're doing. Like this one said, Taylor Swift, Enchanted Life. That's, I promise you, that's not what we were talking about. But I have found some of them, if, at least if you give it a little bit of direction, um, it will populate other can, other potential uh, tags that are going to be relevant. You can just hit add all if you wanted to. So really, really cool. This is a good example here. Um, how Google Gemini will change content marketing forever. So it's prompting me to potentially add, uh, in addition to my current tags, I can add these two, which I think would be potentially valid. And then maybe there's some that I don't like anymore that I want to remove, and I can do that there. Um, that's not exactly the way I'd go about doing this, but it is cool that you can add some pretty quickly if you haven't used all 500 characters. Um, not saying you have to use all 500 characters, but if you wanted to. Uh, another way you can optimize your videos really quickly, and I optimize probably, I would say two thirds of our videos within a matter of a couple hours using this feature, which I think is just simply amazing. Um, but let's say uh, most of these are already optimized, so they're not a good example here. Um, let's just pick this one for just because, right? So you'll see here, it's gonna rank uh, your title and what it'll do is as you're going through this process, it'll actually rank your thumbnail as well. So it gives you a score for each. So let's say you click on that, right? Then what it'll do is if your title's only a 76 and you're like, I think we can do better, right? So it'll give you three different examples. You can also hit regenerate or refine it. It'll change the parameters again, like we did before. And what we can do is we could say the last email marketing tool you'll ever need that gave it got a 95 score, how I automated my email marketing and you can too. 98, I tried ConvertKit's new email automation features, 84. So we could swap one of those out if we wanted to, to optimize our title. And then also what it gives you down here is it gives you kind of like some areas and feedback as far as why this is either great or why it needs improvement. And so as you're going, and it's really a good practice to do this, to go back and re-optimize older videos, uh, and this would be a, a way you could do that really quickly. Most of the time people do that and they kind of get stuck on what they should re-optimize for or they don't know which ones they should optimize or which ones they should fix. And so this would give you at least a scoring parameter to say, hey, this one might be one to consider to re-optimize and maybe I would choose one of these three, right? So for the sake of this, let's just change it to that. You would hit publish. Uh, I need to reauthorize the connection. Shouldn't be a big deal. And then as such, as you see, we are back and we are connected with the new updated title. Now you can also do the same with thumbnails. If you wanna change and upload your thumbnail, you can do it right here. So for like our virtual assistants that actually do these thumbnails for us, they could just, as they're going through, look at the ones that have a lower score, meaning the thumbnails that are lower rank, and they could just add a new one. I've used the generate feature. Again, it's pretty, it looks pretty stock imagey. Um, I don't think it will really perform all that well personally. Um, but if you wanted to do something here, you could do that as well. It also gives you the parameters as far as why they ranked it the way that it did. So visual harmony, eye-catching elements, color and contrast, text brevity, um, and then it's at, so there weren't any that were bad per se. It was great and or good. So I, I would leave this one, obviously being a 90, I would leave it as it is. Uh, but then again, as I showed you before with the tags, this may be even a better area to re-optimize your tags uh, for certain videos because what you can see here is they have a score associated with right? Which one? So if I saw that marketing automation was a 75 uh, and I don't have that one added, I would add that. Digital marketing maybe applies to the video. Make sure they are things that actually apply to your topic. Some people try to get a little clever with thinking they can just rank for things that really aren't pertinent to what they talked about. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend that at all. And the reason being is because let's say it does optimize for that specific tag and you're, it's showing people videos uh, you're telling it it's also this thing, you know, like let's say it's, um, I don't know, email email software, and that's technically not what it was. Your performance on that is not going to be great because people aren't going to want to click on that because it's not relevant for them. And if they do, they're not going to spend much time on it because they're quickly going to realize this isn't what I was looking for. So over time, that performance on your video is actually going to hurt the overall performance of how it does in the algorithm. So, so yeah, you might have re-optimized it to rank in areas that it wasn't ranking before, but you probably did more damage by not ranking for the right thing. So just be careful with 
what tags are, you use here. Uh, you can also change descriptions. So if you, let's say you uh, re-optimized, I don't know, you're using a different lead magnet. Um, you could actually go back and just go to each individual one here on a dashboard view and just re-update those and do copy paste and change your description as such. So since I updated some tags, we're gonna hit publish. And then technically this video is now completely re-optimized. So really, really cool. Again, there's some other features that I'm not gonna get into in this specific video. This is the core gist of it. Uh, they do have a coach feature. I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't come with the boost package, which is I think their mid-tier package. Uh, but it does give you the ability to talk to, I believe, somebody that's a, an expert, quote unquote, um, that can help you with some of your YouTube strategy. So maybe you want to take advantage of that. Maybe you don't. You can look into it if you want to. Uh, and then another one you can do is you can add competitors that you're tracking. So you can see how you perform against them. You can see the videos that they're putting out and maybe you want to do as well, uh, so on and so forth. And then again, there's other features as well that you can look into. There's a learn dashboard, uh, so on and so forth. But really has given me a lot of really cool ideas uh, that I wasn't thinking about before as it relates to YouTube. And I feel like it's, I've already seen some traction. I've updated and optimized some videos that now I saw are getting VPH again, which means views per hour. So it's like trending for you, um, that they're getting one, three, five, or even more views per hour now when previously they weren't getting any because maybe they were six, seven year old videos. So I found it to be an amazing, amazing feature. Uh, definitely look into it. I think the investment was around like $49 a month when you add like the basic layer plus you know, the boost package, but so far from what I can tell, and I'm going to keep an eye on it. Uh, but I think the amount of leads that we're driving and, or even the AdSense dollars that we're driving probably are covering the cost of that alone. And we always say this, right? You want to hire your tools first. So what we mean by that is, is that if you can pay a tool $49 a month and you can quickly do this, it might be more efficient than paying somebody that doesn't really know how to optimize YouTube. And so, yeah, they're doing the work. You have a VA, you're paying a couple hundred bucks a month to do stuff like this, but maybe it's not as good as it could be. And maybe it's not as fast as it could be. And so a tool like this, I think is a great opportunity to cut down on both the time, but also maximize your efficiency and probably be even more optimized uh, than you would be, even if you were doing it just yourself, because I think these insights are really, really tremendous. So hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below about the vidIQ boost package. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And hey, if you're wondering how you can work with us to take your content marketing or your business to the next level, here are three ways that you can get started. Number one, make sure to download our success path. It's completely free and it'll give you the six stages of online business success from validating your business all the way through scale. We're going to give you a detailed overview of of what particular strategies you need to be deploying, but also just as importantly, what areas you should leave for the next stage you should not be worrying about. Now, it's not a comprehensive list, but it definitely is going to get you started on the right track. Number two, come over to Content Calendar System 2.0 and check it out. Not only is it our most popular product, it's going to give you everything that you need to know about content creation that's efficient and will save you a ridiculous amount of time from the lens of profitability because we don't want to just create content for the sake of creating content. We want to do it for a purpose and we want to get results. Number three, come join us inside the Business Lounge. It's our premier signature program where I teach my very best work around marketing in general. From developing your business idea to crafting amazing emails and blogs, podcasts and video, social media content, as well as designing funnels and creating webinars and selling via Facebook ads, all of that training is jam-packed inside the Business Lounge. Not just that, but you're also going to get monthly coaching calls with me and my co-pilot, Chris, where you get to ask us questions, we review your sales strategies and your sales funnels, and we give you feedback in real time. You're also gonna have access to our private forum where you can connect with thousands of other online entrepreneurs who are just where you're at right now, and you're gonna be able to feed that sense of community and get feedback from those people in real time as well. All the information will be linked in the description box below and I will see you in the next episode. Un beso. Bye for now.